Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Cryptocurrency users are growing at a current rate of over 100% a year, well ahead of the adoption rate that the internet saw back in the late 1990s. We expect more than 1 billion people to be using cryptocurrency by 2024. That's one person out of every eight on the planet. So today, I'm happy to welcome a Swiss banker, originally from Iran, who graduated from Princeton and Columbia University, and who is an expert in cryptocurrency and digital asset regulation and cash out. Thank you for joining us, Afsane Hayat. Nice to be here with you. Afsane, to start with, what can you tell us about cryptocurrency adoption rates? Four years ago, when we started uh, Alts.co, it was um, just early crypto, uh, early adopters and crypto millionaires. Today, we have more and more uh, persons approaching us uh, who have uh, started purchasing digital assets in 2018, 2019, 2020. How will a nation state adoption of cryptocurrency impact people's lives? So I think what's really important is to remember that for people like you and I who have banking access, uh, traditional finance access, um, it, it may impact us uh, less than for those people who are live, living in underdeveloped countries and who are not really bankable. Whether you look at countries in Africa or Central and South America, for these individuals, it will give them the ability of making payments uh, digitally, which today they have to figure either to do payments via barter or via having actual phys physical cash on them, which makes it much less secure. And what is motivating countries to adopt cryptocurrencies? What has happened is that you have a situation today where currencies like the dollar were predominant. And by being the predominant currency, even when you look at oil trading, everything is settled in dollars, it gives tremendous power to a country like the US to control or sanction other countries or impose certain rules and regulations on them if they do not agree with them, for example, politically, with their positions. With digital assets, it provides a freedom to those countries to basically operate the way they believe is the right approach for their own country, rather than always being dependent on uh, how it's going to impact their access to US dollars. Can you tell us now the different types of crypto assets, Bitcoin, stablecoin, NFTs, uh, CMDBs? Obviously, Bitcoin is the first one, and everybody knows about Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is on the Bitcoin blockchain. What happened is that Bitcoin was very, very slow. So um, when Ethereum came, came along, which Ethereum is what they considered one, it's probably the largest altcoin, alternative coin, mm -hmm. um, Ethereum brought its own, created its own blockchain. And via this, it also created a smart contract, which meant that other projects could come and build on the Ethereum blockchain, which was faster. And issue their own tokens. Subsequent to this, after 2017, you started having the stable coins, what they call stable coins, which are backed by typically by dollars, whether it's USDC or USDT. More recently, you have had what is called the central bank digital currencies, uh, CBCD. With the yuan, the Chinese government has been testing that. Uh, as has the Bahamas, and as has Sweden with the e-krona. And finally, you have the advent of the NFTs, which are non-fungible tokens. The difference between NFTs and cryptos such as Bitcoin and Ethereum is that any one Bitcoin is exactly the same as any other Bitcoin. Whereas with NFTs, a particular NFT is non-fungible. It is different than any other NFT in the market. So each NFT is individually unique. Thank you so much, Afsane, for decrypting mass adoption of cryptocurrency. And join us next week when we will meet one of the world's most influential and successful cybersecurity entrepreneurs. Bye, everyone. Partizia Blockchain infrastructure for the greater good.